Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well and welcome to sunny Queensland Raceway. Uh, I thought we'd do 10 laps here today in the V8 supercars, uh, starting from 8th on the grid. So let's get this underway, see how we go. Hopefully, we can get a good start. Not a bad start. Have we inched into 7th? Yes, we have. Out on the brakes there. No jostling. Oh, still got seventh. Going to get sixth. As we come out of turn two, form the gas. We go past the uh, the dipper there on my right. Pick your brake and mark it right just here. All the way down to second, third corner, and then back on the gas. We we'll use the crossover. All the track. To turn four and then five on the gas. We come to the last corner here. Now to third, probably second now. And on the gas as we come back onto Dick Johnson Straight. Not too bad. I've got the AI set to 110 here today for skill and 35 for aggression. Could probably go higher, I think. So the reason that I chose uh, this circuit today was because Mike Campbell, the guy who that created this, uh, put out a video on his channel just covering off the changes he wants to make to the circuit over 2019 uh, and updated his release schedule for it as well basically just had an overview of the circuit and how he wants to see it um, to the point he wants to see it completed to in his mind um, and then he'll be happy with it and I think he's doing an awesome job with it so far this and, and Lakeside Park Lakeside Park is, is an absolute masterpiece um, and if you've seen my if you've seen my McLaren M23 video there, you'll know why. Very much a circuit suited to uh, short wheel base open wheels, so it suits the uh, McLaren and those 75 cars to a T. The other reason too is that uh, the, the other reason I wanted to run this with the V8 supercars got um, just a slight update recently, so I wanted to give them another run because I haven't done that for a while. So I've run a, what have I got now, 106.8 here, so I've done a 106.045, uh, the actual real life um, track record is, um, is a 109 for the V8s, that was set last year, uh, James Courtney from memory, and then um, the outright track record was actually set the year the circuit opened, which was 99, and that's a 104. Um, in a uh, in a Formula Ford, a uh, Ford Formula Holden, sorry. So just have a think about that. That's insane. Um, always on race cars, also obviously very well known for um, holding round of the Australian Superbike Championships as well. Very high speed corners, so it suits the bikes to a T as well. Lap record for those is a 108. It's actually pretty close to the V8s. Uh, let's see if we can catch these two. Less of that, and I might be able to. it with them through the corners but they just pull away on the straights and I'm actually not running a lot of aero so I don't know why they're able to pull away but yeah so I'm running the Dunlop super softs and I don't think that they're going to make it 10 laps so we'll see how we go try and be as, as easy as possible on them Do any 
hard corner and try and uh, save the brakes. I'll break a little bit earlier. So as long as we're catching up with them through the corners, I don't mind. Super easy on the brakes through there then. Lands is all over me. Fair bit of ground there, but then they pull away again. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, they end up in the passenger seat. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, into second. Nice. Oh, wow. Dip below the 106 then. Goes to show, I guess. Smoother driving. If it feels slow, it's fast. Step out on me then. It's very, uh, very easy to see the amount of care and attention that, that um, Mike's put into this circuit. Um, this, this circuit's only an hour and a half from my place, and it's it's absolutely spot on. again. Oh, wow, what's going on there? Let's have a look at the tyres. Yeah, I didn't think that they'd last. Okay. And total brain fade then. Managed to catch it though. at least get that position back. We'll do that in corner six, I think. I guess if my tyres are going, their tyres are going too. draft effect at all is there. Six, all of the crossover there. That's better. Okay, let's see if we can get in until uh, turn six. That's a no. With that stick, that probably wasn't the, uh, the cleanest racing move ever. How are they? Horrible. Stopped it from locking up. Wow. I think we're going to lose it here. 
these tyres are just not lasting. One lap to go after this though. Super softs were a bad choice. Okay, here we go. Nice and clean last lap. Can make up a little bit of ground. Well, he's just pulling away on the straights, isn't he? Make a little bit earlier. Save his tyres. That's the issue with Queensland Raceway. If you lose it on a corner, it's game over because there's just grass everywhere and just slide and slide and slide. time we come on to Dick Johnson straight keep it together oh and across the line for second that was pretty cool I hope you enjoyed that everybody if you did um, I would appreciate it if you give it a like hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll be sure to upload more content soon thanks everyone bye